When we first sat down to talk about what additions we would make to Tomb Raider Underworld, what we said is, what are her current limitations? And what limitations does she have that doesn't make sense for her to have? She's a very strong, fearless, independent woman who runs around out in the most dangerous parts of the world. And that was what gave rise to the concept of what could Lara do. This is the first time Tomb Raider has ever used motion capture. So Lara is definitely almost superhuman. So we had Olympic caliber gymnasts uh, being motion captured for Lara. What could Lara do affects all of the combat decisions we made. So the first thing that we did was decide that she was going to be able to shoot at two different targets at the same time. We also worked on Lara interacting with the enemies, like running up and vaulting over and hitting them, or running up and flipping off and, and shooting them. So there's going to be a lot of nice dynamic interaction with enemies coming up. She can now balance walk on thin beams, but if she had the capacity of doing that, why wouldn't she be able to climb up onto a pole and balance walk on the pole? So she can do that too. Now she can take out her gun, switch hands, and uh, shoot if she's on a pillar, or if she's uh, on a ledge, or if she's on a balance beam. She can still do combat. All these create a string of animations that just is enormous. The number of animations Lara has it's rumored at 1,600, but we have uh, another batch that adds another couple hundred. So, I mean, I wouldn't be shy to say she has over 2,000 animations. With this current generation of systems, they just make Lara all that more believable. She does really cool things, like when she walks through bushes, she'll push them out of the way. So it's, it's very contextual. It makes her seem like she's a part of the environment. She's very much alive. You'll see a lot of detail in there that we've never been able to achieve before. All this sort of makes her some of that you can actually relate to the player will actually feel like they're a part of this world. And I think for new players, it's that sense of discovery that they're gonna find in this game, which is really exciting.